got these um, uh, rear spring mounts off this Ford console and um, well, there's a few holes around this axle so there's some on the other side as well so I've diagrammed it out with my 6mm burr um, and just cleaned out all of the holes um, and just clean all the way around in these trusses because I'm going to have to fill all the way up here um, all the way up to here I think um, and on this side it's not on both sides well it, there's no holes on both sides but I'm sure if I hit that enough it would go through but I've got to basically fill this all up here as well now this looks to be um, I'm wondering if it's either brazed or you know an a old school MIG welded um cuz yeah I yeah that that looks like a, a normal weld cuz I was I I'm hoping this isn't cast I don't think it is um I think I'd know if it was cast but um just I'm going to warm it up um first of all just to get all the the steel nice um warm and um sort of not to stress crack it or anything just in case and then just slowly build up and grind back and build up and grind back until it's at the same height um, and I'll probably go around and give a few bits of weld on um, anything else that I find um, <clears throat> but yeah so I'm going to crack on with warming this up and beginning to MIG weld it um, up and then I will come back and um, show you how I get on just done a fair amount of weld on this first section of the um, the rear axle um, <clears throat> made sure to just warm it up first and um, temper the, the steel um, and then concentrated on just building up the the hole in that was you know made and um, then building up um, and just flowing the metal all the way around um, onto the higher bits of the sort of the low sections and uh, making sure it's all nicely gone in there so um, I'm going to do the other side now and then um, tomorrow I will probably come and start trying to dress this off um, I just want to let it cool down naturally um, I'm occasionally just warming it back up just to sort of let it relax um, so I don't think there's any sort of worry about cracks because um, I don't think it is cast it seems pretty pretty good to weld so yeah I'm going to do the other side and then show you when that's done I've finished welding this side of the axle um, just in a couple passes on um, this bottom section and the other side um, so I'm letting this cool down and then I will begin to grind it tomorrow I think there's a little bit of a low spot sort of in the middle and like also sort of around like about there um, so yeah I'll grind that and then have a look inside there with a torch and see if there's any um, anything protruding through that could be an issue um, and then um, yeah this uh, this is definitely leaking quite bad I mean um, obviously made sure that the the ends are open so if any of the oil had ignited then it would have shot out um, as well but I think um, having it turned upside down and probably a little bit of pressure inside has um, just made it a bit easier for the oil to escape um, so I've got a link to an oil seal which I will put in the description um, as well if you are needing that um, I've also realised that I need to try and find, um, uh, I think, um, these side axle seals um, from where this this is the, um, this is a seal cover, I think it goes over here, um, and I need, I need a new gasket, um, uh, I may be able to, um, make one if I really absolutely need but I'm sure there was some available so I'll be looking for them next um, and then yeah, once this is dressed down then I'm going to begin to try and um, 
measure out and make new ones of these. Um, this is for the handbrake cable. Um, and I need to see if I can find some pictures of original ones to see if these these holes and these holes are meant to be there um, and whether this this section is meant to be sort of this diameter where my nail is um, I think it probably is but I just want to get some good references to copy and then um, yeah I'll try and draw them up in CAD and get them laser cut out out of I think this is three mil steel um, and then um, hopefully I should be able to use them and weld them back on um, and they should be brand new and then once that's done I'll prep and prime them inside before welding then weld uh, then prime all of the the, the diff um, I'm going to try and take these bolts out and paint um, paint with them off maybe so sort of take all but two out um, and so I can get behind them and then clean up these original bolts and put them back on um, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it um, and then obviously clean all the other bits and pieces off before it goes back together so yeah thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one just finished off um, welding these and began to dress the welds um, probably need a little bit more to dress down but they're solid now and they're not full of holes um, so I'm probably just gonna check it with a torch from inside to make sure that there's no more holes um, still a, a few little bits to dress down a little bit nicer um, but it's actually solid um, so yeah I'll check it with a torch from the inside and see if there's anything um, coming out um, and then on this side as well um, just on here and on this side here so yeah that looks all pretty good so now I'm going to make the top plates or begin to d design them and uh, then I can make them and pop them on and uh, yeah that can be a bit more progress on this um, so yeah I'll see you once I've got those done